So if you want a million dollars, all you need mm. to do, hop on a plane, fly to the Kremlin, mm-hmm. pretend you're Russian. <laughs> but getting out with Mad Money Edition. Money. Woo, it's the ma- No, that's news. <clears throat> Breaking news, mad money, baby. Everybody needs money. We're going to do some mad, mad money. Throwing that money around. Have I got the best money-making scheme? We're going to, we can help you financially make millions of dollars. We're also helping America. Well, does it really help America? Does it, though? I don't think so. We got We're not really involved. We are, though. How? Because, you know, Biden. For Biden. Exactly. Do it for, for Biden. Brandon. I love Brandon. Wanted dead or alive Russian businessman has put a million dollar bounty on Putin's head, calling for military officers to arrest him as a war criminal. Oh, this is a Russian guy that did this. Yeah. Wow. That's right. Wanted dead or alive. Isn't that treason? He probably doesn't live in America or or in In Russia. Russia. I would suspect he doesn't live in Russia. I promise to pay $1 million to the officers who comply in their constitutional duty Blah, 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 blah. Get Putin. Get Putin. So if you want a million dollars, all you need to do, hop on a plane, fly to the Kremlin, pretend you're Russian, maybe you're a Russian prostitute, maybe you create a Tinder account, I'll pull it off. maybe you get an OnlyFans, seduce Putin, Go into a private office with... I mean, it's like Hitman. Just no. go into a private office with him. Yeah, but see, you're missing a step. First, I'm going get to ha- get pregnant. Have his kid. Hit him for some alimony. <laughs> That's going to be at least a couple of years. Then I'll sell the kid. Get a nice sum of money because it's like a half Russian, half Italian baby. Those are prime. You're Italian? Oh, uh, yeah. I am. I thought you were German. No, you're not German. Not German. I thought you were German this nope. whole time. I'm Isn't pretty really? sure you said you were German. Not German. Okay. Nope. Only German at heart. Oh. Um... <laughs> Oh boy! Oh boy! Uh, so then, after I sell the kid, that's that's when I'll come back and get him for round two. But this time, I'll stab him. You'll in the take butt. the head. I will. What if you smoke meth with him? I probably will. Get dog collars that freezing these balls has gratefully provided us. Thank God. In fact, you'd be saving money because freezing these balls provided you with the dog collars. Yeah. And then you could take him out. I'll yeah, I'm taking out Putin. He's good for like 69. He's, he's looking crisp. Is he 69? He's old. I have no idea. He's he pretty old. He's pretty good. Yeah. He's, he's not as old as our old age. <clears throat> no, he's not. He's like 20 years younger. Is he? Yes. Probably. So more, 20 more years of Putin? Oh, God. Well, if that's too difficult for you, I have another way you can make some fat stacks of cash. Pirates. Pirates. of Not of the Caribbean, but of the Russian billionaires. There's a lawmaker offering measures to allow Americans to seize jets, yachts of Russian billionaires. It's called privateering. We used to do it back in 1812. Let's get back at it. I'm all about becoming a pirate. You can get a boat. Doesn't matter what size, because those Somali pirates were pretty good with any size boat. Yeah. Fly your Jolly Roger flag. Maybe you put up a little America flag, too. Just so do you are- think these oligarchs have like a uh, like train people on their yachts? Oh, for sure. But I heard that like a Ukrainian tried to disable one of their yachts. Oh, really? Yeah, because if they get to like I don't know Minolta or so, one of those countries where there's no extradition. But just imagine if you're on the high seas, anything goes. I was gonna say if you're in the water and you're a pirate, do you really give a shit? You're just gonna That's go true. in. Yeah. This is this is from Lance Gooden. I don't know what he represents, but corrupt o- Russian oligarchs have enabled Putin's war. That's why, refresh rate, I have introduced legislation to allow U.S. citizens to seize yachts and jets of sanctioned Russians. We must use every tool at our disposal. Where is the Where's the bodyguard? What's his name? Bear? Bear Grylls? I don't know. Bear Remember? Grylls. I used to have a picture of you as a bodyguard, but I don't remember Me? where it went. Yeah, remember? You were, uh... The what? P- what is his name? Bear? 
What's the guy's name? The bodyguard. Dog. Dog. Oh, Bounty dog. The bell. Okay. Sorry. Bear Grylls is an outback guy. I don't know. About? Dog the bounty. Remember, there's a picture of I, the dog. Yeah, that I remember. I don't know what the story was, but I remember. So Russian yachts are on the move, and if the Biden administration and our allies in Europe fail to act these quick, uh, act quickly, these vessels will soon be out of reach. It's never out of reach for a true pirate. I say let's get pirating. Let's go back. I'm ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> the only piracy Z would be good at is the back door. I am a back door pirate. So I'll be going right up that back door. Yeah. Sneaking in, getting them oligarchs right up the back door. I can attest to that. Thank you, Freezing. That is, you will prove my point. I am absolutely ready to sneak in the back door. <laughs> so are you in on being a pirate? I mean, if, or an if, assassin? I, if I had a million dollars, I would hire a team to just take the yachts. Like yeah, but how, you have to get the million dollars. So you're going to take out Putin first and then take the yachts? No, but like if I was like a millionaire and I wanted to murder and seize like a billionaire's yacht, which probably has more funds, like it's just an investment. So you got to take the risk, hire a hit squad and just go in, murder the oligarchs and then just take their shit. And hopefully it's more than what you have. Yeah, but you don't have the yachts. Yeah, but you take the yacht and then you sell it. Hmm. Right? Those yachts have got to be worth like $100 million, right? I don't know. How I many guess. How many guards could they really have on there? Plenty. You think so? More than, uh, unless you're Steven Seagal, you're not getting them. That's true. Are you Steven Seagal? I, I Do you have a stripper in a cake? That, did Steven have you Seagal never have seen a... Under Siege? Oh, yeah. That's a great movie. Dude, he was great in the 90s. He just had endless movies. You know, it was like Tommy Lee Jones, Big Break. Was it really? Yeah. Huh? Under Siege, he played the villain. Great movie. Steven Everyone should Seagal. catch it. Cradle of the Grave. Nope, that, that wasn't Steven nope, Seagal. Nope, that, that was DMX. No, nope. there was a great Steven Seagal and DMX movie. Shit, what was it? I don't know. You have Google. Oh, it's going to annoy me. Oh.